welcome back to another Tech Minds video. Now this radio is something which I would not normally feature on this channel because it's sold as a handheld transceiver designed for the CB radio bands. Now I have nothing against CB radio as that's where I personally started my radio adventures many years ago. But I'm going to show you a neat little trick so you can use this radio on the 10 meter handband. Now before we get into the modification process, let's just talk about this radio specifications as it comes from the factory, just so we know what we're dealing with. So first off, you'll see that it's a handheld radio, which makes it extremely portable, easy to use and easy to carry. Now from the factory, this radio covers a frequency range of between 26.965 MHz and 27.405 MHz, which is essentially known as the mid-block or EU or CEPT band used throughout Europe. The radio also allows the user to switch between AM and FM modulation. There is no SSB support in this radio, but it does have a 4 watt output as standard. Now the color screen is a nice touch, although it is actually a little hard to see when you're out in sunlight. There's also a really annoying loud startup tone that can't be turned off or even adjust the volume of it. Now the radio is menu driven, but luckily there are not many menu items you can change, so it's quite easy. Something else which is quite interesting is that this radio has an inbuilt SWR meter and it will show you the SWR while you're transmitting. Now this leads me onto the supplied antenna. So it's only good for the band in which this radio ships from the factory. So if you're going to modify this radio to work outside of the default bands, then you will need a different antenna. Now on the side of the radio, you will notice a USB socket. In fact, this is just a serial connection using a USB connector. You will need the correct programming cable for this radio. Now I purchased mine from AliExpress and I'll leave a link in the video's description of the exact cable that I used. You also need to make sure you have the correct prolific drivers installed on your computer. So to get started, we need to plug the USB cable into the side of the radio like this, and then the other end plugs into your Windows computer. With the radio turned on and the software loaded, open your device manager and look under COM ports. Here you can tell which is the radio's COM port as the prolific driver will be loaded. Once you know the COM port, close device manager and then focus on the programming software. What you will notice here is that with the default memory bank loaded, you cannot change the frequency. Each frequency entry is grayed out. So what we need to do here is take a full backup of the radio and then save this to file. Now once the memory backup has been saved, you can now open a hex editor application. Now I'm using a free hex editor application called HXD, which is freely available to download from the internet. Now once HXD is open, go ahead and open the memory file we saved previously. Now once the file is open, you'll be presented with a screen like this. Now this is very important. Do not change any other values in this file apart from the values that I will going to show you. So as we scroll down the file, we'll start to see readable frequencies in the decoded text column. Here we can directly edit these values. Now do not select a value and press delete as this will change the file too much. Instead, highlight each value first, then type a new one to overwrite. Now do this for all other numbers in that frequency. You can then continue to go down the file and change the frequencies. To point out, this first set of frequencies relates to the EU band. So after editing 40 frequencies, you will start to edit other bands. Of course, you can do this if required. Now once you've changed all the frequencies you wanted, then go to File and then Save. Maybe select Save As, so you're not overwriting the original backup file. You can now close down the hex editor software and return to the radio programming software. Once loaded, select file and open, then select your newly created file that you created with the hex editor software. And once loaded, you'll now be able to see all of the frequencies you changed. You still cannot edit these frequencies within the software, but you can change some of the channel properties like AM, FM, scan skip, tone squelch, and things like that. And with the radio turned on, you can now download this memory bank to the radio. Once finished, your radio will now reboot and will be programmed with the new frequencies. 
So the question is, will this radio work well out of the band it was designed for? Well, after doing my research, it appears this radio was originally designed to work between 25 and 30 megahertz, but due to approval regulations, this radio had to be fixed to the EU bands for export. One last thing to test, and that's a real live test on the air on 10 meters. So I set out to a local high spot and arranged a contact with Chris, 2E0UKH, who is roughly around 15 miles away. Are you uh, are you receiving over? Yeah, hi Matt, it's uh, Chris, 2E0UKH. Yeah, I've got you. Um, you're about signal four, right? You're radio five at times. When I was listening for about a minute or two there, you were a bit clearer a minute ago, but uh, yeah, like the other station says, you're working. It's, uh, it's definitely working. I take it that radio is FM only, is it? Uh, no negative. I can actually switch it to AM as well. <laughs> yeah, uh, they give us uh, they give us AM as well, so I can go to AM. But unfortunately, uh, no sideband. Unfortunately, but uh, but yeah, it's working great. Steve, I put it over to you. See if you can give uh, Chris two E zero UKH a call. Uh, this is M zero DQW. Two E zero UKH five PIR stroke P. How you doing, Chris? Now, just prior to talking with Chris 2E0UKH, who also happens to have a YouTube channel, I managed to contact with a fellow GAAMC club member who was incidentally parked up around 15 miles away. Now this wasn't planned, I didn't even know that these guys were going out for a field day, but it's very nice to have a chat with them. Now this QSO was cut a little short, as if you can see in the right of the video, a rather blurry looking vehicle reversing beside me. Well, it was the local police, and they wanted to know exactly what I was up to. Uh, this is M0 DQW, M0 DQW, uh, calling out 29400, 29400, Mike Zero Delta Quebec Whiskey. M0 DQW, M0 DQW, this is G5 PIR Portable returning. Oh, very good afternoon to you there, sir. Uh, Yes, you're coming through quite strong actually. Very nice. I'm using a modified QYT CB58 radio and uh, yeah, I'm glad it's working. How copy? Yeah, roger that, roger that. Well, you're coming in uh, about a signal five here um, up, on, um, up on a big hill with a um, horizontal um, uh, half wave long wire out at the moment. Um, your uh, modulation's a little bit quiet. I've had to turn the radio up to hear you, but um, it's uh, it's a, uh, a good um, a good strong signal uh, coming through to us here, Roger. Right yeah, Roger. Yeah, I'm actually talking quite far away from the uh, from the handheld so that I can actually get the video to record. Uh, but okay, no problem. I'll come back to you shortly. Thanks very much for the contact. I'll uh, I'll give you a text or uh, give you a call. Yeah, brought to that G5 PIR portable clearing. Yep, M0DQW clear. Cheers. Well, turns out it was on police and they were based at Chequers, which is the residence for the current Prime Minister of the UK. Now, I did offer for them to come and have a play with the radio, but they declined. However, they were very polite and professional and I had no issues at all and I could carry on. So there we go, a test of the QYT CB58 modified for 10 meters FM. And in my opinion, it works really well. Now, if you guys have already got one of these radios and you've modified it just like I have, let me know down in the comments below. Or if you're going to do it, let me know. I'll be interested to know your experiences and how well it performed for you. Until the next video, stay safe, take care, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.